What's going on everybody? Today I got a really interesting video. I'm going to show you how to set up the AMG 8833 infrared uh, camera. So it's a roughly a $40 sensor that you can find on Adafruit. Uh, the things that you're going to need for this build include the sensor, obviously, a set of jumper cables. You're going to need four female to female jumper cables, a uh, Raspberry Pi, um, three in this case. Um, I think performance might be an issue. You want more processing power to render the video better. Um, there's a few assumptions I'm making though, because when you get the sensor from Adafruit, it doesn't have these headers soldered, pre-soldered on, so you're gonna have to do that yourself. Um, pro tip, definitely have the long side facing the rear of the breakout board because you don't want your wires to come out in front and interfere with the sensor. It's a lot cleaner that way. Um, with all that said, let's go ahead and wire this bad boy up. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is find pin VIN on the sensor and then plug, plug in uh, one of the jumper cables here and that's gonna go to the 3.3 volt on the Pi. The next pin you're gonna need to plug in is the ground pin. So you're gonna skip the 3VO pin and then plug in the ground pin. So I'm just gonna use this yellow cable here. Oh, nope, that's the wrong pin. There we go, so then that goes to any available ground on the Pi. So in this case, I'm just gonna do third from the top, third across. There we go. Um, and then we have two more pins to plug in. SDA and um, SCL. So I'm just gonna plug these two jumper cables here. And in my case, it's green and blue. And they're side by side. So green is SDA which is the second pin on the bottom row. So yeah, this uh, sensor interfaces with a Pi via I2C. And this, the finally SCL goes to the third pin on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. So that's all you need to do um, to get this wired up to the Pi. I'm sort of following along with what Adafruit outlined in, the, in their tutorial. However, um, as you may have noticed, they have a external display hooked up. So in this case, we're sort of simplifying that process and we're just going to use VNC to display the output from the sensor, you can also use a display that's hooked up to the Pi directly via the HDMI port, but we're not gonna cover hooking up that display. So this, this should be a one-to-one -one correlation with what you come across on the Adafruit tutorial. And with all that said, we can head over to the computer and set up the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I've SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi. We have to do a few things before we could actually VNC into the Pi. So go ahead and run sudo raspy-config hit enter. You're gonna wanna go down to interfacing options and go to I2C and then go to yes and then go back to interfacing options, go to VNC and make sure that's running as well. So now, now that that's done, go ahead and go to finish. Go ahead and, and reboot. So sudo reboot. Um, now that the Pi has or is rebooting and we've configured it properly, you're going to use another computer and use VNC Viewer to log in this time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
So now I've logged into the Pi via VNC viewer. You can see sort of the resolution is off. If this is the case for you as well, it's a simple fix. Just click on the Pi icon and go to Preferences, Pi Configuration, uh, Set Resolution, and then change it to your respective desktop resolution. In my case, it's 1080p. Um, it's going to have to reboot. So just give it a quick second there. Uh, while it's rebooting, I kind of jumped ahead a bit. So the client that you're going to need is it's called VNC Viewer. So just go ahead and Google that and download the client. So now you can see the resolution is correct this time around. So I'm going to open a terminal here. It's pretty much identical as if I were to SSH into the Pi, but in order for it to display the thermal like video, there needs to be an output. So you can either have a physical display, which is like a monitor or TV plugged in via the HDMI, or you can use VNC, or else the uh, script will error out. So I'm going to go off of all the instructions on the Adafruit. Um, tutorial so I'll leave a link in the description I'm pretty much gonna follow this uh, one to one just follow all these steps here so with all that said and done uh, let's go ahead and, and get started here so first thing you're gonna want to do is type sudo app get update and just have that run through real quick Just a note on um, everything I show you on this tutorial, I've already run through this, so what you see on my terminal might be a little bit different. It might complain and say, hey, you've already installed some of these packages. Um, but if you ever get lost, just refer to the Adafruit tutorial and it should set you up and get everything working correctly. But uh, I'll sort of walk you through the process here. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and um, I think the first thing we need to do is to s check to see if the I2C interface is working properly. So we can do that real quick. I'm actually jumping ahead here, but I just want to make sure we've... Oh, this is really... This is okay. Sorry, the copy and paste is not working as I thought. There we go. Pseudo I2C detect dash Y1. You should see a 69 on this 9 column and a, on the 60th row here. If you see that, you know you've wired up your sensor correctly and it's responding. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and install all the. Uh, packages and the git uh, repositories so first thing we're gonna do is copy this oh man I apologize for my poor copy and paste skills here so um, just running through what's displayed on the uh, Adafruit tutorial. Now I'm going to clone this repo. And then change directories cd ada. And finally install So now that that's done, we need to install Pi game and SciPy. So to do that, we just type the 
this command here and we also need to install or enter this command as well as you can see here um, my outputs are probably a little bit different because I already have all these requirements satisfied so now that we have all the dependencies met we can go ahead and run uh, this code so let's go let's cd back into the home directory so cd tilde and then now we're going to actually clone the amg 8833 Python repository. This is the actual code provided by Adafruit. So now if we do an ls we can see that there's multiple Adafruit directories. We want to cd into this one here. Adafruit C or cd Adafruit amg um, and now we just want to go ahead and list the contents of this directory. So if we cd to examples and then list those contents, we're presented with multiple um, Python scripts. So the first test we want to do is Python pixels underscore test. Py. You should see some um, numerical output. This just shows that your sensor is working properly, um, I believe. Um, so that's a good sign if you see output similar to what you're seeing on my screen. So hit Control C to stop that. And let's go ahead and clear this because I'm pretty sure you guys are having trouble seeing what's on my screen. So now um, in order to actually see the the output we're going to do python thermal cam.py so before I run this command I just want to note that my pi is in the other room so I'm going to run this command you're going to see the little output um, screen 8x8 I'm going to go over there and then point it to me and you should see the difference in temperature I'll probably also point to a light po a little light so you can see that uh, note the change there as well so let's go ahead and run that run that script so there you go you should you see this color output here um, I'm gonna go run to the other room and see if it outputs correctly I'm gonna grab the sensor here and then point it towards me. You should see like the red everywhere. And then if I point it to this light over here, I don't know if this orientation is correct, but you should see this light post um, red as well. Here's me again. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you get the sensor set up um, with the Raspberry Pi, the thermal. IR sensor. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's sort of cut and dry, very simple. I've just sort of followed along with the Adafruit, what Adafruit laid out. But uh, yeah, I plan on implementing this in the future in another build, maybe one of my robot projects. It's pretty cool. It's not, as you can see, it's not as high resolution as I thought it would be. It's sort of like 8-bit, 16-bit style like Nintendo. But it's still pretty cool, kind of like Predator Vision. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for upcoming content. I hope you enjoyed everything today. Um, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, always appreciate it. And peace.